Hello and welcome back to another episode of 22 Engines LOD Skill Notes. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the Moonlight Destruction Skill Build, which is consists of rear arm. I'm gonna use rear arm this time because rear arm is most one of the most important skills in the game. And it consists of um, okay, um, I'm just gonna pick the skills, I'm not, not gonna explain it further because I know most most of games, most of the games I played, they use this kind of skill. Most commonly out of my like, ten games, they use this out of seven. Seven out seven out of ten games, I guess. So now let's start. First up we might want to pick waveform, storm ball, hoop stump, then I think oh no. Uh, let's just put this one back and put this one in. Teleport and hoop stump. Then clips and lastly rearm. Now that we've picked our selected skills, now we might want to pick any kind of skill or type hero intelligence. Intelligence is the most intelligence is what I always use when I use these kind of skills. It's hard to use agility or strength type because they do not have sufficient mana. I guess. I don't know now let's use fair dragon for this now I'll be back after I fix the game put the items money and everything and I'll show to you how the skill works and I'll explain it further now that I'm back so I'm gonna show you guys how this setup skill works it's pretty basic actually now let's go here and go teleport and again that the beta clip Activate the clips again. The clips. That's it. That's how easy it is. Now, I hope you learned something from me again from this video. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And by the way, I'm gonna explain it further before I end the game and end this tutorial. Um, this skills, which basically, you don't need to put this all. You just need to pick some skills that are essential on disabling enemies, more about stun, stunning them, and you should you should have at least one one skill that will be able to escape after initiating your clips because in most times after they activate that they activate chrono spear then they kill you and that's the worst case scenario you'll just die so you must have at least one. One skill that will enable you to escape after enabling this. Now, this ends the video. Thanks for watching again, guys. Hope to see you again in the next video. Stay tuned for more of my daily commentary videos, videos and tutorials here on YouTube. Thanks, guys.